Welcome back to Guide to Pen Testing. In this episode, we're going to be covering some of the advanced use cases of Nmap with a focus on NSE scripts. So, before we get started, let's simply locate all the NSE scripts we have available within Kali. If we type locate asterisk.nse, we'll automatically find all of the NSE scripts that are available built into Kali. As you can see, there's quite a lot of NSE scripts available by default, and some of these we are going to take advantage of. The first one we're going to try out is built into Kali by default. It's the SMB OS discovery script. This is particularly useful because it uses the actual SMB version available on the server to fingerprint which version of the operating system is running. Compared to other scans, it's actually a lot more effective because 99% of the time you'll get the exact version of the operating system you're trying to fingerprint. So let's run this now. I'm targeting the domain controller so we know what operating system it should show up with. So let's see what happens. As you can see there, it's correctly fingerprinted the operating system, Windows Server 2012 R2, standard, it even knows it's an evaluation copy just off the SMB version. Immediately we know the NetBIOS name of this machine and the domain it's part of just by running this script. For this next one, I've started another virtual machine. You don't need to do this, but I've just done it to demonstrate this particular script. This one is simply called HTTP title, and it does exactly what you think it would. It grabs the HTTP title from the target machine. That may sound very basic, but it's actually surprising how useful that could be. Imagine you're on a network with a lot of web servers. I'm talking possibly thousands, even hundreds, this script will simply return the title for each of them. That allows you to very easily identify which ones are default web servers, which ones are running something that might be interesting. And to run this script, it's very simple. I've added the IP address of the machine I've booted up. Obviously, you don't need to do this, but feel free to if you want to follow along. I've added this dash P80, just to define port 80, and obviously script HTTP title. If we run this, very simply, it returns Microsoft Internet Information Services 8. We haven't set anything up on that site yet, so that's it's exactly what we're expecting to see. This next one is my final favourite script. This one's called DNS Brute. What this allows you to do is enter a domain name as a target instead of an IP address. And what it'll go ahead and do is try and guess subdomains based on a word list. Surprising how many times this will actually work out in your favour. There's many times where a sysadmin or whatever will add an extra service onto a server simply because there's space there and add it to a subdomain. If you're doing a penetration test against a company, a lot of the time there isn't going to be anything interesting on their public facing website, but they may have something like Citrix dot whatever or anything like that, and that can make the test a lot more interesting. So I'm going to run this now. It does take a while. I'm going to run it against the demset.co.uk domain. For your usage, it might be worth buying a domain name and setting up subdomains and seeing if you're able to actually brute force them with the script. As mentioned, this is going to try a lot of different possible subdomains, so it will take a while to run. So this is completed now, but it's actually not worked exactly how we wanted it to. Because of my .co.uk domain, it's taken the .co part of it as being the main domain. So it's actually gone ahead and found us a whole bunch of .co.uk came demands that it's been able to brute force. So that's about it in terms of advanced uses of Nmap. Uh, I think the most advanced feature in Nmap is the NSC scripts. And I'm sure you guys can find some really cool ones. And if you do, feel free to leave those in the comments below or in the forums, because I'd love to see them.